Hi, I'm Mandy and I am sitting in this incredibly messy room right now to share with you the beginnings of my chicken coop journey. I've already started this journey. Um, someone told me that I should uh, make a video series of it. So I don't know, that's what I'm doing. Uh, so here I am with my crazy roots and my crazy messy room. There's picture frames on my work table. Right now I'm in the middle of working, um, making masks for the Mask Crusaders, which right now has been overtaken by a lot of other things, literally on top of my work table. Um, and I am in the process of this, trying to get a chicken coop together, which I was gonna be doing very casually, very slowly. And then all of a sudden through a completely random series of events and conversations, my uh, friend, a, a woman I, that I know, um, who actually encapsulated my placenta for me when my son was born, uh, it turned out she has four chickens that someone was supposed to take and then they like flaked on her. She could only get sets of 10, whatever. And you actually aren't right now able to buy or sell chickens in the state of California because there's a Newcastle virus concern going around. But she got some chicks, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So we, a friend of mine up the street who also was, uh, she already, she had got her coop and was just putting the finishing bits on it. And I decided that we would take those four. She's going to end up with four or six total. I really only wanted two. So um, we decided we would take them for her. And uh, she got her coop all together and actually picked them up yesterday. And she's going to hang on to them since she's got the room for them. Uh, she's going to hang on to them for me. And actually, my son and I, he had a doctor's appointment today. And so we went and visited them. They're, they're I think, eight weeks old right now. So they're still babies. Uh, and I just decided this was going to be the time that I sit down and make this video, partly because I just got my new phone last week. So I didn't want to do this on my old phone, uh, since my new phone takes much better video. So what have I done? I did a ton of research. I looked up coops and coops and coops and coops, and I was ready to buy one that I thought was super cool looking and a really good cross section of, of, uh, cost and practicality and aesthetics. Uh, actually the aesthetics were just a bonus cause it was super cute. But, uh, then I, all I can figure is that the eBay seller was up to some shysty business. Uh, and I kept trying to get it and it said that the listing had ended, but then it was still up and they were being really slow about getting back to me. So at that point it said the listing was ended. So I just was like, well, it's not meant to be. And then I did some more research and actually went to Etsy, which I hadn't done before. Cause I assumed that was going to just be prohibitive. And I ended up finding a coop on Etsy. I sent it to my friend because I kept looking at the place where she got hers from, which was also a really good deal. Uh, and she, she laughed. She was like, that is almost the, the one I almost got. So, uh, I got a good deal on it because I am putting it together myself. And that doesn't mean just like assembling, like the pieces that come like Ikea furniture. It It's going to mean cutting some pieces. It meant ordering a few things online. Well, for me online, because it's all in lockdown right now, which also meant dealing with Home Depot versus Lowe's. And I'm figuring out those things right now um, that are better and worse about them both. Uh, right now, Home Depot curbside is awesome. They're doing great with curbside. Their website sucks balls to order from. And they, by the way, I'm going to curse a lot because I curse a lot. Uh, so it was just really difficult. Uh, Lowe's ordering on their site was really easy. I could order the paint that I needed because I we're also working on our landlord's getting our house painted. And I was so excited because I was like, I got to paint my coop. So I'll paint the coop to match the house. And Lowe's, I was able to do um, samples, order samples online and go pick them up. Well, then I picked them up and they were horrible. Uh, I hated all of them. And uh, I was like, I don't want to live in a Cookie Monster house or a Grover house. And then these other colors, I was like, eh, they're just too light. So then I had to brave Home Depot for samples. Oh, and Lowe's curbside, horrible. Horrible. Not even existent. I'm not even going to call it curbside because I got there and I'm calling. They're like, call the number. Nah, 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 nah. And like I'm ringing and ringing at 20 minutes. I'm calling and calling and calling and ringing the extension. It was awful. And I'm seeing people like park 
in the curbside spots and just like get out and go. And I'm like, what is happening? So I finally went in and I was like, yo, um, curbside, I have a curbside pickup. And he was just like, oh, what's your name? And I'm like, no, oh, like acknowledgement of curbside. And then I had to go in and I told him and he starts like bringing out because I had I got my handy my construction list from the, the woman I ordered them from because I had to get all these two by two furring strips, which are eight feet long. I think I needed 14, 12, 12, eight foot long, two by two strips. So he starts like pulling them out. Like they're in a bundle of four. So it's like a four by four. He pulls it out and like slides it on the counter. And I, and I was like, I have a bunch of these. I also have 20 pavers because it's going to get outlined pavers. So you can uh, critter proof it, which I will go into more. But um, this is just my intro. So anyway, I was like, I need a cart, yo. So he like finally puts the stuff in a cart and I wheel it out and it was just annoying. And I hated all the paint from Lowe's. So I ended up at Home Depot anyway to get the paint for the house, all those things. I'm doing a lot of other things around the house too at the same time. And my, I'm pulled in every direction. But today I am going to uh, at least start measuring out my strips, especially since it friggin' rained yesterday, which no one was expecting and they got wet. Uh, which is really annoying, but I am going to at least go out and measure my strips. I also got some strips to do some work um, on some little windows that go to our basement. I'm going to, in critter proofing my coop, I am going to try to critter proof more of this house because we get, we get residents that move in every summer underneath the house and we're going to do our best to make it a little less easy for them to get underneath and in the crawl space as well. Uh, so lots of projects. I have a lot of things going on and also still trying to sew masks for the mask crusaders and cut no sew masks for the mask crusaders and, um, take care of my two year old son. Ah, pandemic life. So this is my intro video on me and my chicken coop process. I will go into some other things that I'm learning on my journey, but I just wanted to say hi, make a quick video and uh, say that this is where I'm at. I have a piece of paper and an order from the Smart Chicken Coop. I think this lady's amazing. Uh, she, you can get them so that they're more made up together, but for the price, I don't, I'm handy enough. I can make them myself. Uh, so th something, so I got <laughs> cut some things myself. So yeah, I will share more as I go along. Thanks.